here we are at Melbourne Town Hall loading the Gaia G100H. For this particular batch we're going to mix a fair amount of vegetable matter as you can see going into the device at the moment and a lot of off-cut bones and meat. We'll get a better look at that shortly. The machine will hold up to 50 kilos per batch and that can be processed twice a day hence it has a, a daily capacity of 100 kilos. We just move in a bit closer you see the product loading up inside the barrel of the machine. Note how coarse it is. It's very coarse, thick, thick uh, stalks. Here we have the, the bones. There's a, quite a mix of reasonably sized bones as you can see. Hard to shank. Sausages, obviously part of their best buying, which will also go to the supermarket. It'll be typical of uh, the sausages, will be typical of supermarket type off cuts, which are thrown off past their best buy date, as is commonly done in France at the Le Clerc's. Chicken bones, obviously been deboned to make uh, chicken thigh fillets. Whole carcasses. Whole chicken carcass. So we have a mix of uh, chicken. And lamb. A bit of chicken fat. The outer skin and fat also included. The uh, leftover sausages uh, we've discovered are still frozen. They will go in like that. That's no problem. They'll obviously thaw in the initial part of the processing and then uh, be broken down and cooked once they've thawed. So we're getting a bit close to capacity here. Typically what we do now is we uh, close the lid and give it a small amount of time to rotate just to ensure that we uh, have filled it adequately but we obviously don't want to overfill it. So you can see the lid closing. The lid does close very slowly. It's one of the safety features of the device. As you can see it has to be controlled from over there. It's a dead man switch so it will only operate while you're holding the switch. Again part of the safety features of the equipment. Now after the short period of loading it and letting the shredder run, you can actually see the wheels of the helical shredder, that's a paint the design from Guy, which does the job very well. So that gives us a little bit more room, we can load some more product. Now for this shot, we've just temporarily override the lid sensor. Typically this would not rotate in this fashion with the lid closed part of the safety features. Just for the sake of this movie we've temporarily overrode that feature so that you can see how effectively it moves and shreds at very low speed which means it won't jam too easily. So uh, quite powerful and reducing the mass quite a bit already just by the action of the, uh, of the mechanical shredding. We've now loaded the, the last of the product we'll put in for this batch. The, uh, you can see the level is it's just sitting above the helical shredder, which is about the right level. If you listen closely, you can hear uh, the smaller bones being cracked as part of the process. Hence, we, uh, we shouldn't see too many uh, large pieces left when the batch is finished. Which we'll show you when we unload. And if you look closely, and we'll, uh, we'll freeze frame some of this later to show, but there are um, small amounts of string and plastic which have been left in the product. Uh, we've deliberately left those in there as uh, we know in real life that uh, it's not possible to remove every single thing. It won't affect the processing, uh, it obviously won't break down and we, we may see some uh, components of it when we unload, but uh, a small amount certainly won't do any harm. The machine is now loaded and ready to start. It's very simple. This is the main control panel on the front of the machine as you can see, you have an emergency stop, start, stop and discharge button, the uh, switch we spoke about which opens the lid, power reset etc. At the moment you can see the time is zero. It's set for a nine hour cycle, it won't run nine hours if the product is dry in time. You can see the current temperature, ambient temperature is 24 and the temperature inside the barrel is set to reach 170. Simple as pressing the start button. And away we go. Now what you'll notice is there's very little noise. The odd click of a uh, 
electrical breaker coming in. You can just hear the, the fan running for the condenser around the back of the machine. And that's all the noise you get during operation. Extremely quiet device. And here you can see the machine's now been running for 15 minutes. In that period the internal temperature has risen to 93 degrees. So well on the way to the set point and about this stage uh, we can be uh, on our way and we will return tomorrow for the discharging we'll be able to see just how long it did run and the ambient temperature in that chamber at the finish. Okay, here we are back at the town hall, it's the following day, the uh, cycle has completed. It's now just after half past eight uh, so you can see the temperature in the vessel is still 60 degrees. Uh, it's very well insulated, so actually it, it, it keeps it remarkably warm. Uh, it's not a great amount of light here, but as you can see, the, uh, the product's nice and dry. Just running between the hands there. Uh, as you recall, we had a lot of vegetable matter, uh, so uncooked sausages, all the chicken bones, carcasses and such. There's a piece of the string You're in the video yesterday we said that uh, you know that some of that foreign product will just be uh, left over inside so we'll, uh, we'll close the lid now shortly and uh, we'll, uh, we'll show you the discharge. That discharging is as simple as the, the loading and starting process. There's a safety gate here as you see the power's on at the moment but the minute I open that safety gate that triggers the power so it, it's now safe to open up there's a small inner door, insulated, as you can see, gasket around it. Once we reclose that door, we can hit the power reset and we're ready to basically start discharging. As simple as pressing the discharge button, and out it comes. What's remarkable is the volume reduction we've achieved. As you recall, yesterday we had quite a bit of product inside, so we're basically uh, we've had the 95% reduction that we uh, we expect.